In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top five passing plays in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about how you can become the best Madden player that you can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it allows you to know whenever we release new videos. Every day we break down tips and strategies that can help you on offense as well as on defense be more successful. Now, what we're talking about in this video is we are talking about the five best passing plays in Madden 21. We're going to start out with number five on our list. And the number five passing play uh, in Madden 21 is definitely going to be the Jets dig. And the reason why is this is probably the best cover three bomb in the entire game. You don't have to make any adjustments to it, literally none. And what you're going to see is that this R1 receiver is just going to basically bomb the cover three. As you see right there, once that safety glitches out, as you can see, I've got a wide open one play touchdown. It's also got a really nice little flat route to the running back that you can throw. So if you don't see, if they're not if they're not playing hard flats, you can do this and you can do the, the, the trucking thing. Um, it also, it's just a very, very good play against zone coverage. Now, the number four passing concept that we're gonna be covering in this video, um, and I believe one of the best, we're actually gonna have to flip sides here but uh, the number four passing concept in Madden 21 is the U-trips, and it is the play tight end whip. So I'm going to run a play, kind of get down here a little bit, and I'm going to show this to you. Now, really quickly, if you want to get any of our guides to these full offenses, I have a full Patriots guide that goes over the U-trips. I have a full trips tight end guide that goes over that. I have a full bunch tight end guide, and I also have a full bunch, uh, bunch guide. So if you want to get any of that stuff, um, that is all available to you in the description. But this is a cover three bomb as well, and this comes from the U-trips formation or the Y-off trips pats, and the play is um, the tight end whip, if I can find it right here. This play is good for several reasons, but all we're going to do is we're going to streak the R1 receiver, we're going to put the circle receiver on a little comeback route, and then I personally like to just block the running back, and what you're going to see is that if they run cover three, this middle third guy is either going to completely glitch out. If he doesn't glitch out, you're going to see there that you're able to easily just take the check down um, to that post route. The beauty of this offense is that it has so many consistent check downs. It's one of those offenses that is very, very difficult because the user basically is never right. Okay, he's basically never right. Let me show you that one more time. Um, I got, you know, terrible, you know, this is classic practice mode. Uh, it might as well be best just to, you know, spy everybody. But the beauty of this is that you have a nice curl flat concept on the left side with the comeback and the, and the whip route. That whip route is going to get great separation against man coverage. But as you'll see right here, that's what I'm talking about, where that inside third guy will kind of glitch out and you'll be able to hit uh, you'll be able to hit him again. Uh, part of this might just be because I don't have the I don't have zone drops set up. Uh, typically, this will be a little bit better with zone drops, which is probably what you're going to face more than likely anyway. But again, and of course, I'm going to get sacked again. So I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna you know throw zone drops on the field and just show this to you really quickly. But U trips is good for a lot of reasons. Um, this is just one of the plays that I believe is super super effective. Uh, let me just do like a standard five. 25 uh, and 5 Mabel coverage here. Um, and like I said, you know, good old practice mode. But basically, like I said, you know, you want to have like a fast guy here. So like Tavon Austin would be, you know, a good candidate to put there. There's a lot of really, really good passing concepts from the U trips. But this, in my opinion, is probably the best one. Uh, and the reason why it's so effective um, is just because it completely glitches out of cover three. I mean, it just the middle third will basically not work. Uh, like he's supposed to and what you're going to see here is this r1 receiver so you'll see here this this and that's what we're looking for right there you see i completely froze just like he did on the last one and as you can see you know we have a one one play touchdown now the third best passing concept in madden 21 is coming to us from the trips tight end um, and this is you know if you want to get my full trips tight end offensive guide it is going to be linked down in the description as well but the, what you want to do is you want to put your best wide receiver at the inside slot position of the trip side in. And there's so many great passing concepts from this formation. But in my personal opinion, the best passing concept 
uh, from this. And really the number three passing concept in the entire game this year um, is going to have to be the curl flat. The curl flat play is so effective. Um, it can do so much for your offense. And basically it's really easy to set up. Um, there's two ways you can run this. The first way is you smart route the circle receiver and you streak the X receiver. And you're going to see here that basically what's going to happen is this circle receiver is going to get over every zone drop in the game. As you can see, it's an absolute wide open laser um, against like 30, 25, 30 yard purple zones. And then another way that you could run this, especially if you're getting a lot of Mabel coverage, you know, maybe they're really dropping it back, you know, they may, whatever. What you want to do is you want to smart route the tight end, and then you're just going to take the circle receiver and you're going to put him on a little drag pattern. And you could motion him, you could leave him there, or you could motion him. But basically, what's going to happen um, is this running back route is going to get wide open. You have the curl flat read, uh, which is really, really consistent as well. Um, but this this concept right here is super, super effective. Let me uh, slide this over here. As a general rule, you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field. When you run that corner route to the short side of the field, uh, it does make it a little bit better. So let me show you that real quick. So again, all we're doing is we're just smart routing the X receiver. And then for the sake of this video, we're just going to drag that circle receiver. And what you're going to see here is this is wide open. As you can see, with a nice gunslinger quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, you are going to have a ton of success uh, passing with this concept. It's very, very effective. The curl flat concept is just the perfect kind of counter concept to this. Um, you're going to see here that against a lot of Mabel coverages, you're going to be able to easily just consistently check down to your curl flat uh, concept. So the, the third best play is to play curl flat from trips tight end. Now, the second best passing play in the entire game, in my personal opinion, is uh, going to be the bunch tight end, and it's going to be the play PA all cross. Now, we've all probably uh, learned how to run this play at some point this year. The reason that I'm putting this play at number two is because the one issue that I think it runs into just a little bit is a really, if they have a really good match coverage, that could be a little bit of a problem for you. But all in all, this thing is an absolute incredible passing concept for you. And the reason, for so many reasons, but one of the major reasons is because it, you literally have. Uh, an ability to completely glitch out man-to-man -man coverage. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the tight end on a little delay fade. You're going to double team the right side guy. I like to motion this guy just a little step here. And basically you're going to roll out and once they start chasing you, you're going to release your tight end. And as you can see, it's one of the glitchiest routes in the entire game. This also comes with a phenomenal crossing route as well as a great little post route and a nice little drag route and play action blocking that you can use to really just basically glitch out anything. As you see, you know, you're really forcing the issue a lot. And that delay fade is probably one of the toughest routes to defend. Um, there are some things that stop it, but over, all in all, it's really, really, really powerful. And then the last, uh, or the number one passing concept in Madden 21, if you were to ask me, what is the number one passing concept in Madden 21? I would tell you that it is the play flood from the gun bunch. And the reason why Flood is so effective is, pri is not just because it has great routes. Obviously it has great routes. It's also from a great formation, of course, the bunch, one of the best formations in Madden. But the biggest reason why this is so effective is because you can snap it so fast, um, you only have to make one adjustment. You're just gonna put the running back on an option route and against quarters coverage, which is becoming very meta and very popular right now, you're gonna see that you're gonna have a one play touchdown over the top. Another reason why this is so effective is because in order for the quarter coverage to even be worth playing against this, they have to deep half this quarter, uh, this safety on the right side of the field. The problem is if they do that adjustment, then what's gonna happen is this out route is so consistent on the outside. It's about 15 yards. It gets under every, it gets under the, the 20 and 25 yard zone drops. It also does a really, really good job at getting open. The other thing that I would tell you about this just really briefly here is if they play like a stock Mabel coverage, a lot of you would probably think that this is going to be very very effective if they play a stock Mabel coverage over here with maybe like a three wreck and all of that stuff well you also still have um, your cover three bomb but the other thing that you have is you have this nice little option route that's going to be a great little check down for you and the cool part about this play is it just practically is unguardable because it spaces the field in such a way that makes it super, super, super effective. So uh, one last little uh, kind of tip with this play here is this square receiver is such a good route to throw, um, just kind of really works into a very tender area of the field. And as you can see, it's a nice check down read. So this is very good against not only his own drops, but it's also good against man coverage, against match coverage. 
and there's a lot of little nuances to it that you can do. One other little final adjustment that I do want to share with you. This is really good if your opponent is running like you know five yard hook curls uh, and things like that. You're gonna put that circle receiver on a little hitch route, motion them out to the numbers kind of right in here. And what you're gonna see is it's gonna be really hard for that hit that vert hook to drift in there. And as you can see, you have a great little check down. So top five passing plays in Madden 21. Let me know what your favorite passing concept is in Madden 21. And if you wanna get any of my guides on these offenses, whether it be U-Trips, Trips tight in, or Gun Bunch tight in, or Gun Bunch, those are all gonna be available for you in the description. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions.